easy to build a web page, it's hard to make it look right. If all you want is plain text, everything will be too straightforward. Most bad web pages are bad because of their design rather than their contents. So last lesson we have learned about the uh, different principles of design and then the different elements of design that we can use to make our web page better. Several factors that can contribute to a good website such as consistency, colors, typography, uh, imagery, simplicity, and functionality. So those are some of the factors that can help us to achieve our goal and that is to make a good website. or what you see is what you get. So in this kind of platform, no coding skills are required. So hindi nyo na kailangan mag-encode ng mga HTML codes just to create a good website. So when we say what you see is what you get platform, so it is a ready-made uh, platform na lalagyan nyo na lang ng laman or lalagyan nyo na lang ng karagdagang design for you to create a good website. Web templates, these are unique full page layout that contains generic information that the user can uh, replace. So, ito naman yung kagaya lang din ng WCWIG na pwede natin i-replace yung mga laman. So, it can guide you at, uh, in creating your own website. For example, your website is about health. So, meron ng mga generic information na pwede mong ilagay pa rin or pwede mo naman i-replace. At least, ito ay nag-guide sa'yo para magkaroon ka ng isang uh, organized website. So let's move on to the basic web design principles. Last time we have discussed about the uh, design principles and elements. So if you remember yung naging lesson natin last time so different elements to make a uh, creative and um, informative infographics. So yung mga ginagamit natin sa graphics. So now we are going to discuss about the different web design principles. So first is the web purpose. So your website needs to accommodate the needs of the user. So hindi tayo gumagawa ng website para uh, hindi magamit ng mga user. So your website needs to accommodate the needs. So kailangan uh, mamit dito yung mga needs ng user. So having a simple clear intention on all pages will help you or will help the user interact with you uh, with what you have to offer. So Ay mga simple intention lang, for example, you want your user to be involved in your website na about sa sports. So, ayun yung clear intention mo para inform sila sa different kinds of sport or kung may particular sports ka na gustong ibigay, for example, yung basketball. So, pwede yun. O kaya naman about entertainment, about sa mga bias natin, katulad na lang na ngayon na mahilig tayo sa mga K-pop. So, if you want them to be involved in your website, so magkaroon ka ng way, kailangan magkaroon kayo ng interaction ng user. So, are you imparting in practical information? So, nagbibigay ka ba ng mga practical information, kagaya na how to guide? So, may mga ganang information tayo na pwedeng gawin nating purpose. There are four common purpose, web purpose that we can use. First is describing expertise. Expert ka saan? Expert ka sa mga ganitong bagay. You can share in your website. Building your reputation. So mostly, ginagawa yung website ito for those people na uh, may sarili talagang identity or meron silang uh, inalaga ang pangalan. They want to build their own reputation. Next is to generate leads. And then after that, yung last is sales and aftercare or yung para sa mga business. Okay, next web principle or web design principle is the simplicity. So, it is the best way to go when considering the user experience and the usability of your website. So, simplicity lang. The more, ah, kagaya nga nang naging discussion natin last time, less is, there are some ways that we have to do to achieve simplicity through design. So, first is through color. So, it has the power to communicate messages and evoke emotional responses. We do not only use color to attract our users. So, merong iba't ibang mensahe na binibigay ng color. So, we can use the color to uh, communicate with our user or to back up the information in on your website. So, for example, gagamit tayo ng black and white. So, gumagamit tayo ng mga black and white sa mga theme na uh, medyo mabigat. Pag naman medyo light yung uh, situation or medyo light yung topic mo, pwede tayong gumamit ng mga light 
color. So, finding a color palette that fits your brand will allow you to influence your customer's behavior. So, malaki epekto ng color doon sa uh, magiging behavior ng user. Pero, nandun tayo, under pa rin tayo na simplicity. So, kailangan we will use the color para makapag-promote ng uh, advocacy natin doon sa website. Pero, hindi natin na-violate yung simplicity. Siyempre, hindi natin pwedeng i-overcrowded yung mga color just to gain the user's attention. And next is typography or the text use. So, typefaces should be legible and only use a maximum of three different fonts on the website. Although, maganda yung tingnan yung different fonts, pero meron tayong rule para ma-achieve ma -achieve natin yung simplicity na at least or maximum of three type of fonts o yung fonts tayo na ginagamit natin. So, maganda, maraming design, maraming makikita iba-iba, pero uh, hindi na nagko-complement kapag uh, masyado ng maraming ginamit na font. Iba yung font ng title, iba yung font ng body, iba na naman yung font. So, magkaroon ng, uh, kailangan maging uniform pa rin. So, ta at tama yung paggamit ng font. So, isa pa dapat legible, nababasa. Although, maganda yung mga uh, iba't ibang script or yung mga uh, cursive na font. Pero, tingnan natin, mababasa ba ng user? So, next one is the use of imagery or the different uh, graphics na ginagamit natin doon sa website natin. So, like photography, illustration, video, and all forms of graphics. So, all imagery should be expressive and capture the spirit of the company. So, for example, you're promoting something in your website. Kailangan connected pa rin doon sa pinopromote mo. For example, naman din yung website mo is about sports. So, kailangan yung mga imagery na ginagamit natin is connected pa rin para magkaroon ng uniform. Another web design principle is the navigation. So, we have to make the navigation easier for our users. So, ano ba yung navigation? Ito yung way ng paghahanap ng user sa loob ng website mo. Gano ba kadali or gano kahirap yung paghahanap? Masyado bang complicated yung paghahanap? Halimbawa, hanapin lang nila yung home, hahalapin lang nila yung isang part ng website mo. Masyado bang mahirap yung paghahanap? Or masyadong convenient para sa user? Okay, next web design principle is the F-shaped pattern weaving. Okay, so the F-shaped base pattern is the most common way visitors can scan on the text. So, once doon nag scan ng text ng visitor sa isang website, ang way niya ng pagbabasa is through F-shaped pattern. So, I tracking studies have found that most of what people see is in the top. So, magkismula sa top and then sa left side. Okay? Kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng F-shape. Kailangan daw, yung magiging web design mo is almost ganun yung magiging uh, itsura para masigurado natin na babasahin kasi the rest daw hindi na pinapansin. So, for example, ang web design natin o yung web interface natin, oo, oh, meron tayong top, pero nahati sa dalawa, meron dito isa, meron dito isa. So, ang tendency daw ng pagbabasa ng isang user, ito lang left. And then, yung right side, hindi na pagbabasa. Okay? Another web design principle is the visual hierarchy. So, the arrangement of elements is in order of importance. So, kailangan alam natin kung paano naka-arrange yung uh, elements natin. Yung katulad ng mga pag natin na different elements. Alam natin kung ano yung dapat na pinaka-importante. For example, it is done either by uh, size, color, according to, to size. Yung pinaka-malaki ba? Yun ba yung pinaka-importante? Kasi minsan, uh, yun talaga yung thoughts natin. Eh. Kung ano yung malaki, yun yung importante. So, pagdating sa heading, di ba? Kung ano yung malaking may font size, yun yung magiging pinaka-importante mo. So, kailan alam daw natin yun. So, by size, by color. So, katulad ng napag natin, we can use the color to emphasize something. For example, yung ibang bahagi ay black and white and then yung pinaka-importante ay colored. So, we can emphasize something. So, kailangan daw alam natin ano yung pinakamahalaga dun sa less important. Alam din natin yung gagamitin nating visual elements. But, uh, one of the most important 
uh, web design principle, syempre, is the content. So, maganda yung design mo, maganda yung uh, arrangement mo ng elements of design mo sa loob ng isang website, pero syempre, mahalaga pa rin yung content. So, kailangan uh, fair yon, Maganda yung content mo, and as well as maganda yung design mo to keep your users intact and interactive doon sa paggamit ng website mo. So, kailangan mapanatili mo sila and mag-create ng traffic ng website mo through your content and through your design. Grid-based layout. So, the grid-based layout arranges content into a clean, rigid structure with columns, sections that line up and fill balance and impose order and results in an aesthetically pleasing website. So, if you want to use a uh, grid or boxes or column, kailangan daw ito ay naka-arrange into a uh, beautiful and clean arrangement. Kailangan kung gagamit tayo ng mga sections, hindi magulo. So, kagaya ng pina-activity ko sa inyo last time, yung isang kind ng website na pina-evaluate ko sa inyo, di ba walang, walang sections. Gulo-gulo kung ano lang yung mailagay sa isa, kung ano lang nakalagay sa isang side. Nilagyan lang na nilagyan. Di ba? Ang dami ko na basa na uh, na basa na feedback nyo na kailangan maging maayos, kailangan ganito yung gawin nila. Loading time or yung load time, waiting for the website to load will lose visitors. Kapag mas matagal mag-load yung isang website, syempre alis na yung visitor. Bakit pa ako nandito? Ang tagal naman mag-intay, ang tagal naman mag-open. So, I would rather choose other website with the same uh, services or with the same content kaysa maghintay ako sa isang website na matagal mag-load. So, kailangan daw mas mabilis mag-load. Mobile-friendly. So, karamihan ng users ngayon, nag-browse sila ng internet, ang nag-browse sila ng different websites through their phone. So, we use our phone to browse the different websites or to find something na kailangan natin. So, kailangan daw yung isang website ay user-friendly. Ibig sabihin nun, uh, magagamit pa rin or makikita niya pa rin yung information na hinanap niya through uh, their phones. So, more people are using their phones, so it is important to consider building your website with a responsive layout where your website can adjust to different so, let's move on to different online creation tools. So, yung mga tools na ito makakatulong sa atin to create something na makakadagdag ng uh, magandang content sa ating website. Visual content is great because it powers up your communication and receives great attention from the target audience. So, makakatulong yung mga visual uh, images natin or visual content natin para magkaroon ng reason yung user mo para magstay doon sa website. So, there are different uh, visual content that we can use. Number one is infographics. So, we have tackled about that and most of you um, already uh, create your own infographics. So, these are graphic visual representations of information, data, or knowledge intended to present information. So, in a creative way. So, you are uh, presenting your information that can help your users, but in a creative way. And then, videos. We can create videos that are, these are recorded or recording of moving pictures and sound, especially as a digital file. So, we can use video. Siyempre, mas, uh, mas na-attract yung user kapag nakikita na niya at naririnig pa. And then, presentations. Use catchy images, videos, and graphics in your presentation. So, we can use presentation to uh, present uh, information in a more creative way. Katulad nga ng Kaya, yung presentation, it is a series of uh, information. Okay, so now we're going to discuss uh, some online application or online tools that we can use to create this visual content. So, for infographics, we can use picture chart. So, kagaya ng diniscuss natin last time, you can uh, browse uh, YouTube for online tutorials sa paggamit ng picture chart. So, it is an infographic creation tool that lets you design stunning pieces for sharing in image. So, may mga templates doon na pwede nyong palitan na lang yung laman, pwede nyong magamit, so pwede nyong lagyan ng part of the graphics. But also, you can use other application kagaya ng ginamit nyo doon sa mga ginawa nyo up infographics. So, ang daming effective infographics na talaga namang catchy. Nababasahin mo yung laman kasi hindi lang 
uh, hindi lang informative, kundi yung graphics niya maganda at applicable doon sa topic. Okay, so for videos, for you to be able to uh, create a beautiful and engaging video, so we can use Potoon. So if you uh, if you watch some of, of my videos, so I created some of them through Potoon. So it is an online animation software that is perfect for storytelling and creating flash style movies. So if you want to create videos, uh, na hindi masyad, hindi mas hindi masyadong mag-e-effort pero ito yung mga videos, video creating tools or na magagamit natin if we want something unique hindi lang yung video mo so ito yung uh, animated style na talaga namang makukuha yung attention ng user so you don't have to go to hundreds of tutorials kasi napakadali lang gamitin ng photo kahit wala kang tutorial babasa, basta marunong ka magbasa at magcomprehend ng mga instructions surely you can create some videos na um, maganda talaga and effective hindi lang sa website magagamit you can create, you can use this in other uh, in other purposes. So, kagaya ng mga reports nyo, you can use uh, Potoon para mas engaging yung reports na ginagawa nyo. Another one is for presentation. So, we can use uh, Prezi if you're familiar with that. It is an online software or application that is simple to use as compared to the traditional slideshow maker, kagaya ng PowerPoint. So, uh, traditional na kasi yung PowerPoint presentation na ginagamit natin. So, if you want something unique na mag-offer ng ibang uh, klase, na presentation experience so you can we can use Prezi kasi marami iba-iba yung transition at iba-iba yung feel na mabibigay nito sa presentation mo fine for uh, presentation we can use the slide share so yung iba dito nakakagamit ng slide share so you can use this to upload and share professional videos and slide presentations and pwede rin tayong makakuha ng ideas dito kasi maraming mga nag upload dito ng uh, slide shows or presentation na pwede natin magamit as a guide sa paggawa natin ng sarili nating presentation. So, for website creations, we can use Wix or Wix.com. So, you can use this to create your website or mobile site. So, pwede natin pwede tayong gumawa ng website kahit gamit lang yung phone natin uh, through the use of Wix.com. So, meron pa nga Weebly.com. So, pwede natin itong gamitin to create website kahit nandun lang tayo sa kahit phone lang yung gamit natin. So, for blogging naman, we can use wordpress.org if we want to create blogs. So, wordpress.org, wordpress.com, and blogger.com. So, lahat ito ay free at pwede natin gamitin. So, user, mobile user-friendly to. So, pwede tayong mag-create ng simple blog. So, anything under the sun na mga topic na interesado tayo. So, we can also uh, input images or other visual content na makakatulong para mag-stay yung user doon sa blog natin. An effective website design should fulfill its intended function by conveying its message while simultaneously engaging the visitor. So, kailangan ng maging successful yung website by conveying or by sharing its message pero na-entertain at na-engage naman yung user. So, several factors such as consistency, colors, typography, imagery, simplicity, and functionality all contributes to a good website design. So, a well website design can help build trust and guide visitors to act. So, creating a great user experience involves making sure your website design is optimized for usability. So, kayang maging uh, may gamit at kayang gamitin ng isang user and how it is easy to use or yung functionality ng isang website.